What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll teach you how you can create transitions using shapes in Premiere Pro. So I am here in my Premiere where I prepared two clips which I will create a transition between. And the first thing which I'm going to do is come up here into my window and then click Essential Graphics just so I have this panel over here. But before we can see anything, we need to create some graphics. So I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a square. This is going to be the starting point for our transition. I'm going to do this 540 high and 1080 wide. Just center this for now. Or let's just leave it like this for now. Next up, I'm going to draw a triangle. You do that by using the polygon tool. If you change this number, you can change the amount of edges. But a triangle is just a polygon with three edges. So we're going to use that for now. This one had a width of 1080. So we, this one should also have a width of 1080. But for some reason in Premiere Pro, they just get a width of 1080. So you unfortunately gotta like kind of figure out like uh, what the width has to be of the triangle manually, but it just has to fit somewhat. So something like this, right? Let me just zoom in here a little bit. See how it looks. It looks like it lines up pretty well. And now we'll just kind of like line it down to something. Something like this, I think will do. Now I'm going to select my triangle here and duplicate it. I'm just going to call this layer mask. And on this one, for a copy, I'm going to click mask with shape. And I'm going to click then invert on the mask. And then I'm going to pull it down here into the bottom. So to something like this. This is fine. All right. At this point, we have our starting point for our shape. So at this point, I'm going to select our three shapes here and then create group. Now it's in a group over here. The reason why I left the shade black is so that we can actually color the entire shape just using an effect called tint. So if we apply that, we can change this matte black to whatever color we want to. I think we're gonna go with some pastel colors here. So this is nice. And then let's rotate this one 90 degrees. So now we have this arrow thing here, but this doesn't fill up the screens. The reason why we then duplicated quite a lot of them is because we're gonna gonna make a bunch of copies. So I'm just gonna, sorry. I'm just gonna come over here to the group and then click duplicate. Then probably map this one to a different color. And then what I'm gonna do here is then change the Y coordinate to something that looks nice. This looks pretty nice. And I'm just gonna keep repeating this process a couple of times until I get something which I like. So basically I am done here. And as you can see, we have created this arrow here and we want to animate it. This animation is gonna last for 20 frames before and 20 frames after the cut. But the first thing which I'm gonna do here is come into my vector motion and keyframe the position. Then I'm gonna go 20 frames to the left here and I'm gonna change the X coordinate until it is no longer visible. So something like this. And I'm gonna come 20 frames to the right of our cut and then again, move it like so just cut it here so now we have this thing going on here that actually looks pretty nice we can change it a little bit we can have it come ease out and ease in and then this here and this is just this is just done to get a smoother like curve speed so it kind of speeds up it's a little subtle things that makes the difference and i mean you can play around with the colors here you can play around with the shapes how you want to so a lot of possibilities here. But for now, I just went with this arrow transition because that one is relatively simple. And if you want to create something super advanced shapes, I suggest doing it in Illustrator and then importing that into Premiere. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, then please make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below letting me know which type of tutorial or video you'd like to see next. It also means a lot to me if you would consider subscribing to see my upcoming videos. I upload Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.